Howdy folks, welcome back to Cattleman Crops. Uh, it's been a couple more days, and I'm trying to get my new hired hand to go plow field three, so he's on his way over there. I'm going to plow those corn stalks under. And the other day when I was doing the uh, field three work, I noticed one of my bulls was over there by field three. Yeah, apparently the bulls can escape. I think what happened... I noticed at one point, yeah, see this vehicle is parked here? It leaves the gate open because there's a vehicle here. And apparently the cattle can wander out. <laughs> so I think I had a tractor or something parked over here. I forget exactly, but I think that's how the bull escaped. So we're going to hop in the Mercedes. I'm going to move that animal trailer. And then we're going to go see, uh, I'm going to see if I can get the bull in the animal trailer. I don't know how to get him back to the pasture because if I go look in the stock menu, all the cows are assigned a slot. So I think he's assigned to the pasture like he should be, but he has escaped. Now that was closed when I came over here. Maybe it was just me walking over here that... Got him. I'm going to see if we can get him in the animal trailer. I don't even know if that's a thing. But I don't know how else we're going to get him over here. So, we're going to take the animal trailer and see what happens. Alright, the gate is closed back there. And then I've hired Kristoff because I got tired of fighting the uh, buggy task manager. I have Dago Bert assigned every day at 6 a.m. to feed the cattle, which he does. And he's usually done with that by like 6.40, 6.45. But then I'm not able to assign him any more tasks the rest of the day. Or sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. So, whatever. We're, uh, we're going to have Dagobert be the guy that feeds the cattle for now. It'd be expensive. He costs like 1400 a month or something like that. But that's basically one, one cow per month and I've got uh, and I, I know I keep saying cows they're bulls generic cow not female I've got 75 cows now so we can afford a guy to feed them every day is my thought so last time I saw this bull he was over here in this field to the right field 3 which I believe is south Come on, Mercedes. This is an empty trailer. You got this. He was over in here somewhere. So this is going to be an episode of me trying to figure out cattle and crops. <laughs> Which is a lot of what I do. A lot of the systems are incomplete. They're buggy. And I don't really know how things work all the time. So we're just going to play around. Then we'll go check on Kristoff. Make sure he's actually plowing field three like he's supposed to. All right, here's our bull. He's wandered all the way over here. He's he's doing quite a bit of wandering. So one thing I wanted to see, can I open the trailer? I have to use the buttons. So if I come back here. Excellent. Can I get him in there? That's the, that's the question. I might need the UI up. turn the UI on just just in case anything happens is he going to get in the trailer nope he got close to the trailer yeah no you're supposed to get in there does the uh, does the call key work for him come here Jay calls animals to you, but doesn't appear to be doing anything to the to the bull. <laughs> uh, there is a key on the trailer to load unload. Let me hop back in here. Let's get to the outside view. There is a load unload. That lowers down. What does that do? Raised lower body. 
No, nope, that's not what I wanted. Oh, that does uh, that does both. I got gotcha. you. Get in. In the trailer. In the trailer. There you go. Get in the trailer. Nope. Not interested. <laughs> in. In the trailer. Get in the trailer. I'm not sure this is going to work. In. I can't back up anymore. It's like he's following the trailer. Maybe he just wants to go that way. I don't know. The trailer is lowered. That's just going to make it go up again. That raises the body. Will he just follow me home? Driving right through this guy's field. How fast can you walk, Bull? It's like he wants to get in the trailer, but it's not quite complete, maybe? Lower that back down. Can you get in now that it's like uphill? No, I just I clip into the cow. How fast can you walk? You can walk pretty fast. Alright, let's get that up. If I close the doors, does he still walk? Slow this down a bit. Is he no longer interested because the doors? Let's open the doors back up. Okay, so the doors are open. He comes to the trailer. Got it. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Hop out here. Let me, let me try something. We're, we're experimenting today. I don't I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, let's see. So I want to right, hop back in. Let's close the doors. I'm going to pull up a little bit. Brakes back on. Oh, he's still following even though the doors are closed. There goes that plan. Stay. Stay. Now! <laughs> I, want to, I want to try to get in the trailer before he does. He's beating me to it. Oh, get in there. I was trying to see if I could call him into the trailer, but... Oh, okay, well, let's just... Uh, we'll drive back to the farm. In a slow fashion. Are you ready, Bull? Leave the doors open and I think you'll follow me. So it looks like possibly at some point they will get on the trailer by themselves. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. And it's just not complete maybe see it's clearly following the trailer he wants in all right well i'm going to trundle over to the farm um i do see the tractor going back and forth on field three so that's a good sign 
We'll come back over and check on Kristoff in a bit, though. So I'm going to trundle over to the farm. Cow in tow, or bull in tow. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, we're almost home. I'm gonna try to just drive right in there. I'm a little bit afraid that that bull there will escape, but sometimes animals run from you when you honk. Oh, nope, not you. <laughs> that actually worked, they, they backed up. Oh, and I can't drive. It's, it's paying too much attention to the bull. Might not have swung that wide enough. Ah, we can sneak in here. No, no, stop, no. Get out of here. Good job, guys. All right, UI back on. Doors closed. Oh, he's still following. <laughs> no, go away. There you go. Scatter. That's awesome. They scatter when you honk. Just like the cat and dog do. I like it. Okay, that's one bull returned uh, to the pasture. Now, can I leave this trailer back here? Let's hop back in the cab. I do uh, do enjoy the cab view. It's even better with track IR. This is one of my favorite features right here. Actually, can I swing that out? There we go. You can adjust the mirrors. It's so freaking cool. I love it. <laughs> Just want to clear that door right there. I don't know that that door actually works, but we'll pretend like it does. Oh yeah, one thing I've noticed. Is that, oh, did it put the support foot down? Oh, it did, okay, good. Oops, back in the right gear. All right, away we go. So I think it detects on the player because when the vehicle's sitting there, it should close again, right? Now that we're out, yeah. All right, so that should stay closed. I did a terrible job of parking. And look, I honked, so they're all scattered away from the gate. So that is awesome. Let's go check on Kristoff and see how he is doing. He's supposed to be plowing, field three. If there's a way to teleport to fields, I haven't figured it out yet. So we'll just drive over there. Um, this weekend, there's supposed to be a Scania truck mod coming out. So we may have to get us a, uh, a truck for the farm. But I don't know. I go back and forth on using mods because there are some cool mods out there, but they're not always fully supported and sometimes weird stuff happens. And I'd rather... I'm, I'm okay with weird stuff happening because it's early access. 
but I'd rather have the weird stuff happen happen in the, in the vanilla version so it's fully clear what's going on so I may avoid mods at least for now I might show it off but not actually use it in this game it is a sweet looking truck alright so I guess you basically have to count your bulls like you have to count your cattle and make sure they're all in the pen what's going on over here should be an Arian 530 over here there he is what's this guy doing doesn't look like he's plowing the field what are you doing All right, here's some of that famous AI. Um, he appears to have lost his plow. <laughs> He's just over here driving back and forth. Awesome. Uh, that's cool. Well, there you go. Like I said, AI, when it works, is a beautiful thing, but it doesn't always work. Yeah, he's he's uh, he thinks he's plowing the field. He's giving it the old college try. So we can delete that task. Uh, field work. Delete. <laughs> Where is my plow? We click on the plow. Oh, it's over here in a fence somewhere. Okay. Do I even want to know how it got over there by the fence? Oh, it's clear over by the biogas plant? Why is it over by the biogas plant? All right, well, let's respawn it. I don't even know. Don't even know sometimes. It's early access. Okay, now it's spinning around at the... Uh... Whee! Okay, fair enough. Let's try recreating this task. That will attach the plow to it. See if that works. So, field work. We're going to have Kristoff... He's going to be in the area, and he's going to have a front weight on there. He's going to have a three-point with the plow. He's coming over to field three. I want him to restart the work, which I think I think would make him restart at the beginning of the field, which would make sense. I want him to go to farm unload crops when he's done, because I want to know where that point is. Uh, and we're going to keep the vehicle combination. All right, save. So where did he go? That's a great question. He spawned over by the plow, perhaps? Oh, he's he's in the field. Is he in this field? No. Okay. So this is what Cattle and Crops is like playing right now, right? It's an early access game. It's not complete. I warned you all about that in the first episode. So let's switch over to the tractor. Oh, he was clear down there. Okay, he's coming over towards field three. So let's just uh, watch and we'll see what happens with Mr. AI here. I've noticed sometimes they seem to get stuck at a slow speed. So if I put the brakes on, I can temporarily take over and then I'm gonna let off the brakes. No, he's still Still doing his thing. All right, let off the brakes. Now he's insisting on going 10 for some reason. Okay, yeah, he wants to go 10. This isn't one of those cases where he got stuck. I had my animal delivery task the other day. It got stuck at like 10. For some reason on the highway going back and forth so i i hopped in took over hit the brakes and then when it took back over it went back to normal road speed so i thought maybe that's what was going on but it looks like he is pointed towards what's hopefully a beginning point and he's going to trundle down here and hopefully start plowing 
We'll see how that goes. Kind of looks like he starts down here. They seem to kind of have a system for doing the fields, and it doesn't always look right at first, but they usually get the job done. Put my parking brake on just in case. So it's going to take a little bit, but you know, that's, that's the way it goes sometimes. I'm really curious to see if he'll actually use the plow this time. He was driving, I think, from the farm co-op to this field last time. I don't know why the plow came off the tractor. And I think this plowed bit here is actually from when I was experimenting with the Mercedes and the plow earlier. And he was just skidding all over the place. So I'm hoping this... Is that weight even attached? Switch to the other tractor. What is going on? Oh, I know what's going on. I didn't have those folded down. It doesn't fold those down. I forgot. You can fold those up out of the way. And when the AI attaches stuff, it doesn't fold them down. Alright, how's he going to do? Is he... Well, he's, he's plowing. Wow, this field is muddy. That is really muddy. Let's check the field info on that. So this is field three. Yeah, it's pretty wet up top. It's not very wet down deep, though. I'm surprised he's spinning that much. What are you doing here, monkey? Oh, he's actually going to plow with the rows. The forage harvester is wanting to go with the field shape rather than the rows. All right, let's swap back over to my tractor. Okay, so he's using the plow now. That's that's a good uh, change. So in theory, he'll be okay now. <laughs> oh, I love it. I took the parking brake off and the tractor starts rolling. See if I can get it to roll backwards. I don't know if we're on enough of a slope for it to overcome the static friction. Let's test it up here. The physics is far from perfect, of course, uh, but man, it is, it's so good compared to other farming simulator type games. Roll to a stop, and not quite enough of a slope to overcome the static friction. need a steeper slope. It's trying to show off your physics game. So we can head back to the farm in theory and Christoph will plow that field. I think that'll be it for this one. That was pretty cool. We got the uh, got the bowl back over to its pin. It's a mission accomplished. It was a little weird. All right, let's roll to a stop. And here we have enough of a slope. Breaks on, breaks off. Now that we've stopped, it doesn't look like it's going to overcome the static friction. Let's give it a little, little goose. Let it coast to a stop. Oh, I love it. Actual physics in the game. It's revolutionary. But anywho, I'm going to head back on over to the farm. Once again, I'm driving the Mercedes at the end of a video. I do like this little tractor. It is quite fun. Sounds good, too. I'll continue checking in on Kristoff, but I'm going to let him plow away at that big field. That's a lot of plowing to do. I'll probably do some of the smaller fields myself. Although, the plowing is hard in this game. Um, so I may have to hook up my wheel to do a decent job of plowing. There is no auto steer. There is no GPS. And with a deformable terrain, 
it's tough plowing in the straight line as your tractor will wobble around it will go into ruts it's difficult and with the keyboard it's really hard to make fine adjustments blow right through that yield sign <laughs> always look for traffic though because traffic does go through there I'm curious now before we go let's count let's see if we can count the, uh, the bulls over here make sure they're all in the pasture so the barn will hold 40 oh the barn will hold 40 and we have 75 so there should be 35 bulls in the pasture Shall we count them? Let's do. They're just scattered all over the place. No, we don't want that open. I'll stop here. Go ahead and turn that off for now. I love using the interactive stuff, so we're gonna we're gonna hop out. I know, it's exciting. Interactive controls built into the game. Um, hopefully someday this will be manual. Like, a lot of stuff is automatic. And I, I asked that question on their Q&A, so hopefully they'll answer that at some point. We have a lot of bulls, so I'm going to go to the drone view here. So we've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Why do I have 38? Did I count wrong? I may have counted wrong. Oh, let's check our stock. Yeah, we should have 75. So we should have 35 out here. Because the barn will hold 40. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I keep counting wrong. I must be... Is this two bulls down here in the corner, or is this one bull? Yeah, that's two bulls standing together. It's hard. It's hard to count. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So there's 20. 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 2, 4. I'm counting 36. What gives? All right, let's check the barn. Stock, sort by barn. Barn right. Anybody not in barn left, right, or pasture? No, they're all in. They're all in there. Yeah, look, here's a good way to check. We can take one of the pasture cows and we can try to transfer him. See, there's we can't put him in left or right because they're all full. So I can't count, I think, is what's going on. Everybody's shouting at their computer screen right now. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36. I count 36 every time. I give up. I'm either counting wrong or there's something in the barn. Something up at the barn. Did I accidentally move one out of here? Maybe these don't all hold five. All right, there's no cows in there. Check the left side. We have five in there. We have five in there. We have five in there. And we have five in there. How about you guys? Yeah, we got five. Got five. Got five. We got five. So why do I have 76 bulls?
All right, let me do this with the mouse cursor. You guys ready? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I already miscounted. It's so hard when they keep moving. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I count him. Getting confused. Eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty. Close enough. I'm gonna call that good. Yeah, yeah. Got lots of bulls. Got lots of bulls. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna call this one. Uh, call this one a close. I think we've done enough. Sometimes, if you run just right, you can. We. No, we can't do it. Can't do it now. That I'm recording. Sometimes you can jump like thirty feet in the air, and it's spectacular, but. Anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'm going to jump for joy, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care.